Um, I, the start, you know, the start of it was we just allowed them, you know, to just impose their will. Um, but we started the third quarter pretty much like we started the game. You know, we started the game, said they jump out on us. But when we called timeout and we changed a few things, changed, changed the tide, Ant made some shots, and we got back in the game. But that's not the way you win, you know, um, but just shot making. You know, you got to win on the defensive end. And I just thought the way we th started the third quarter, um, it just cost us, you know, it cost us. Do you feel like you're reaching them? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, I think that, you know, when we get in these type of situations, most of the time, you know, it's, to me, a lack of experience in the situation. You know, well, we have a lot of veterans on our team, but we also have a lot of young guys. But we don't have a lot of, like, you know, real, like this was a playoff type atmosphere. We don't have a ton of real playoff expertise and experience. And that's what this was tonight. And it's been that way for a couple of couple games, several games, obviously. But um, it's just tough, you know, it's tough. But the, the first order, quarters and first halves of every, every game, you know, you see teams get off to these big leads. Those things don't mean anything, you know, because it's a game of runs. And uh, they started to smell blood and LeBron just kept attacking, kept attacking. We was out there a little vulnerable, and then it was became a game. What types of things tell you that you are reaching your team, that your message and that you're, what you're trying to teach and get across, mm -hmm. across to them is, is that they're listening and processing? Yeah, the, the, fact that, the fact that they compete, that we just compete the whole time, you know, um, I'm really big on that. And, you know, as far as like, uh, you know, what we do while we're competing, it's tough, you know. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't always, we don't execute what we try to execute most of the times. And, uh, you know, you, I'm pretty sure most coaches can say that. But the fact that they compete, you know, when we talk about things, they a lot of times try to get it done. I think our lack of experience just kind of, it rears its head a lot of times. Chauncey, I know you're making subtle adjustments all the time. Yeah. Game and between games, but you've been in this rut for quite a while now. Is there something more dramatic that you feel like you need to do either with lineups or mm -hmm. personnel? Uh, there's a lot of things that you think about, you know, that I think about uh, our staff that we talk about, we kick things around. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be continuing to talk about it. You know, obviously I'm not going to expose those possibilities, you know, with you guys before I talk to my team and my guys. But, of course, you know, when you're in these type of ruts, you're always looking to kind of shake it up and see what's out there, what we could possibly do. Uh, so we'll see, man. But not only on the game, you guys, you got to stress a lot of home games. <clears throat> the makeup for the some other road games you played tonight. Mm -hmm. Two and four at home in, in six of those games. You're thirteenth place now. Do you feel like this is kind of slipping away your four games under five hundred for the first time? Well, I don't I don't know about slipping away because I feel like in the Western Conference any good week you have you can jump, you know, every everything is kinda of close. However, um there's some urgency that I feel like we should be having, you know, right now. Being at home you know, uh, most people think that you could, you're just, a, you're just gonna win. And it don't happen like that, you know. Um, I felt like tonight, you know, we got in a position, the team started making a run, their team started making a run, and then it was, we started playing not to lose the game instead of just play to win, you know. Um, but again, though, we, we, we haven't been in that position a ton of times, you know, to actually know what to do. You know, so it's tough. You said that um, they're competing. You guys are competing. Mm -hmm. but then you just said there's not urgency. Mm -hmm. So are, to me, those kind of sound like they should be the same thing, right? Or are they not? <sighs> they probably should, you know. Um, but the thing is, again, like we in positions out there a lot of times, Bill, where 
we felt good. You know, you, you talk about urgency. When we got down in that first quarter, the way that we played to get back in the game, there was urgency. Um, the fact that we did it again in the third quarter is unfortunate. And teams are not going to just continue to let you do it. But the fact that we didn't show the same urgency, it sucks. You know, and it's the things that you got to try to teach and coach and keep going over and keep, you know. But that's kind of where we are. You know, let's just face it. That's where we are. You know, a lot of the losses that we've been having, um, you know, it, it they hurt. These are bad losses, you know. But that's where we are. And we just have to get better. I got to get better. Um, I got to keep coaching, keep teaching. Our guys got to get better. But that's just where we are. You know, let's just face it. So in year one, you, you kind of identified that, OK, we don't have dogs. We don't have guys that give the effort every year. I think you guys have solved it. Mm -hmm. So now are you saying you need to get more talent? Or you have to keep looking at patient I'm, as these guys get more experience? I'm going to let y'all do all the writing. And I'm gonna let y'all do all the, all of that. Y'all see us fighting every single night. Y'all see what we have. Y'all see what we don't have. Y'all do all the talking. But you know one thing about me: I'm gonna be riding with my guys. Period. No matter what, we win, lose, or draw. We down 25, get come back and beat. I'm riding with my guys. Until that changes, until those guys change, or until whatever happens, I'm riding with my dudes. So. Y'all can do all the speculating, do, <laughs> write y'all stories about what we need, what we don't have, what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. It is what it is. I'm riding with my guys, though. No, I think everything, to be honest with you, you know. Um, I'm also one that's not very experienced, you know. So um, just like we're patient with them in the locker room, I'm patient with myself. So I think everything, you know, I, get, I need to get better at. But no matter what happens, I'm always going to come up here and raise my hand first. You know, I'm always going to look myself in the mirror first and foremost and say, dang, what could I have done better? You know, how could I prepare my guys for the third quarter? better and whether no matter what I said in there when we had those droughts I'm always going to come in here and raise my hand and say I got to get better because that's just the type of leader that I am have you and Joe last guy brainstorming or even addressing the upcoming deadline and kind of get your thoughts out in the open um Joe and I talk often mm-hmm